Hello all, I am Mr. Lee Kamser. This video clip is to discuss with you the latest assignment in chapter 5. So let's discuss the question one by one. Question number one first, make sure you know that atomic number is the number of proton or the number of electrons in the atom, while mass number is the number of proton plus number of neutrons in the atom. So for the atom Q with uh, atomic number 15, it means that it has 15 protons and 15 electrons. While mass number being 31, it means that the number of neutrons can be found from mass number minus atomic number. That means 16 electrons. So the answer is D. Question number two. Uh, make sure you know that uh, many students made mistakes in this question. So let's discuss it in details. Number of electrons is just the number of protons in the atom, as an atom must be electrically neutral. And make sure you know that the mass number is related to the number of neutrons because of this relationship. So. For atom X, as there, uh, the mass number is 20, it means that the number of electrons should be done by this, okay, the subtraction, giving the 10 electrons. Similarly, for atom Y, as the mass number is 19, so the number of neutrons can be found by 19, the mass number, minus the number of electrons. That means 10. And similarly, for atom EZ, as the mass number is 17, and the number of neutrons is 9, so the number of electrons can be achieved by this subtraction, 8. So what we have to uh, locate for the isotopes is uh, remember the definition. Isotopes should have the same number of protons, but different numbers of neutrons. So it is obvious that C is the answer. For question number three, um, silicon, the relative atomic mass is a uh, the calculation is usually okay done by this formula. Make sure you capture all these mass number and their relative abundances. So the expression can be like this. 28 times is relative abundance in terms of the percentage like this. Plus the other isotope with mass number 29 multiplied by is relative abundance in terms of percentage and then finally the last isotope with mass number 30 3.1% of course uh, I I do notice that some students might have difficulty in uh, the calculation make sure you know the meaning of percentage percentage 92.2% is actually 0 0.922 similarly 4.7% is in fact 0 0.047 and 3.1% is of course 0 0.031 and what you got after you press some buttons in your calculator you got this right and remember during the lessons I told you already uh, refer to the data for example this one okay from the question it it is just correct to three significant figure. So your answer is better to be expressed, okay, like this, just correct to three significant figures. As I told you during the lesson, the last two digits here are not so reliable, not so reliable or even not reliable. Therefore, normally, even for a structured question, you should answer 28.1 instead of 
twenty eight point one and then something. Okay, uh, it will be considered to be incorrect if you write okay too many digits like this. Make sure you know. So the answer is B. So let's turn to the page two for the structured question. Applying the same idea, I think. Uh, I don't need to discuss this further, and let's focus on the part A as I just mentioned earlier. This time, okay, make sure you know that your answer should be ten point eight instead of ten point eight and then something. So why? Talk about it one more time. It is because the data from the question are just, you know, correct to three significant figures. So your answer should also follow this. Okay, and make sure you know in examination you probably you get zero mark. Make sure you know, okay, in case you write wrong answers like this. And finally the question number two uh it is a bit more difficult than the question number one. Actually, uh, I also demonstrated the way of calculation during lessons. And I also found that uh, some students could not present your ideas clearly. So first of all, you should have an assumption like this. Okay, so it is usually, okay, uh, having a pattern like this. Okay, and when you do your assumption, normally you need to uh, write something like this. Once you get this assumption, actually, uh, this table is not so necessary. Okay, what we are looking for is, of course, how you can establish this equation. Of course, uh, another version for this equation can be like this. So remember to extract the mass numbers 6 and 7. Okay, and of course, uh, you can, this is the multiplication. Multiply by, you know, x percent plus the mass number of the isotope being 7, multiply by 100 minus x percent. So this is another way of, of course, uh, it should be equal to 6.93 given by the question here. Okay, and make sure you know that after you solve the equation for x, you got x equals to seven. Uh, when I when I mark your assignment, I found some of you put down the wrong idea, saying that x is seven percent. This is totally wrong. X is just seven, but not seven percent. Of course, towards the end, I found some of you did not write a conclusion like this. Okay, so this type of question should contain an assumption. At the beginning and then a conclusion towards the end so the conclusion should be something like this okay so actually what you have done is finding out the relative abundance which is equal to 7.0 or you may say 7 percent it is also acceptable so the percent should appear in this conclusion talking about the relative abundance so make sure you got all the answers and make sure you do your corrections in case you make mistakes. Thank you for watching the video clip. Add oil in your examination.